Hi folks, David Waring here again with LearnBonds.com. In our last course, we learned why the smart money follows the bond market. In today's lesson, we're going to learn some basics on the Federal Reserve, the yield curve, and how bond prices move. So let's get started. The Federal Reserve has a humongous influence over interest rates in the economy. One of the primary tools they use is open market operations. This is where the Fed buys and sells short-term treasuries in order to raise or lower the interest rates that banks charge to lend each other money overnight. When the Fed goes into the market and buys treasuries, they increase the money supply. This sends interest rates lower and should stimulate the economy. When the Fed sells treasuries, the money that they receive is taken out of circulation, reducing the money supply. This sends interest rates higher which should slow economic growth. Why would the Fed ever want to slow economic growth? Because they are worried about inflation. Inflation is the general increase in prices over time, which makes your money worth less and less. Inflation is also one of the reasons why normally a long-term bond will pay a higher rate of interest than a short-term bond. Investors want to be paid not only for tying their money up for longer periods of time, but also for the purchasing power that they are likely to lose over that time due to inflation. By comparing the yields on the same type of bond with different maturities, we can see how much more investors require for locking their money up for longer periods of time. When you put this on a graph, you get what is known as the yield curve. The slope of the yield curve changes based on the market perceptions of economic growth and inflation. Because of this, by watching the yield curve in the market data section here at Learn Bonds, you can get clues as to where the economy is headed. It is also helpful in determining which maturity of bond you should buy by looking at how much extra you can earn for tying your money up for longer periods of time. Another thing you will want to consider when looking at long-term versus short-term bonds is their sensitivity to interest rates. Bond prices and interest rates have an inverse relationship. If interest rates rise, then all else being equal, the value of a bond will fall. If interest rates move lower, then all else being equal, the value of a bond will rise. This is because normally the interest payments you receive on a bond and the principal you receive back when the bond matures are both fixed for the life of the bond. If interest rates rise after you purchase a bond, then new investors can get a new bond paying a higher fixed rate of interest. In this situation, the only way to get a new investor to accept a lower rate of interest on an existing bond is to lower the price of that bond. On the other hand, if interest rates fall, then investors will be willing to pay a premium for the old bond, which has a higher fixed rate of interest. The longer a bond has until maturity, the greater the price fluctuations will be as interest rates change. This is also known as interest rate risk or duration. That's our lesson for today. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. Also, be sure to stay tuned for our next lesson, where we will cover portfolio diversification, income, and bonds versus bond funds. For more great bond information, be sure to visit us at LearnBonds.com, on Twitter at LearnBonds, and on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash LearnBonds page. Thanks again.